not going to do anything with the, with the paper, can we? Only here? Oh, we're going to record it and send it to the people who want it to be here in Pitching. Why didn't you say it? Oh, so we're, <laughs> we're going to we're gonna be a room there. Oh, yes. Come so in. we're going to be recording the, the workshop this evening for those who wanted to be here and could not make the commute. So just to keep that in mind, if what you're sharing will be shared with with those who are Like are a present. million people, more or less? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the whole world. Potentially millions of people, yes. It's going to go under but that I know of about a hundred. <laughs> for sure. Okay, so I'll start the recording now. So if anyone doesn't feel comfortable with <laughs> the camera moves to you, just say and we won't film, okay? Otherwise, I would love to share anything with anybody. And the camera's over there, right? The camera's over here and she's going to move, right? Right. From time to yeah. time. Okay. okay. Great, thanks. Hello, good evening. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so, since we have a very short time, um, I would love to hear from, let's say, four people, maybe more. What would be something that if you took with you today can really contribute to your life? Take a moment to think about it. A fan, right? <laughs> what else? What is it? Did someone say a fan? No, I said. She's doing the movement, I'm saying the words. And we respond 
from the meaning that we gave to it. So if I respond to him now, he says, I want to be a better listener, and I start preaching, not sure I'm going to get to him. Okay, so one of the tools for life, okay, which helps slow down and become a better listener, <laughs> is to ask what would that mean, this mean to you? And I'm getting really curious because I don't know. So what does it mean to you to be a better listener? What are you lacking, you think? Focus. Focus. Meaning what? What happens instead of focus? Uh, distraction. Okay. What distracts you? Thoughts. <laughs> oh, you have this phenomenon of thought? Yes. What do you think about when someone else is speaking, of course, and pouring their heart in? The future. The future. Okay. Software design. Okay. Do you, do, <laughs> <laughs> do you tell them that you're distracted? Of course not. Of course not. So here's another tip. Start telling the truth. Seriously. This is a whole chapter which I call Speaking the Unspoken Conversation. This is the, the title of my TED talk. Speaking the Unspoken Conversation which most of us don't. We are not almost aware of that conversation. Definitely not sharing it with others. Why don't we share? Why don't we speak the truth? We don't want to hurt their feelings. We don't want to hurt feelings. Yeah. What else? Do you want to understand these things I'm thinking about software design? Do you want to understand these things I'm thinking about software design? They, about about software design? they won't understand. What else? People don't want to be vulnerable. What? Trust. Trust. What about trust? I love that. Uh, you lose their trust if you're not paying attention. Say it again? You lose their trust if you tell them that you're not paying attention. You're afraid you will lose yeah, their trust. I'm afraid you yes, Instead afraid. of that, you think you're winning the trust by not telling them anything. Yes. As if people don't sense anything. <laughs> we sense everything. We just don't say it. So one of the faculties of becoming a better listener, what is it? Does it touch you when I say that? When you hear that? Does it touch you? It's an idea. Very different from what we've been told to become a better listener. Um, yeah, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. It takes what? What does it take to get there? Confidence. Maybe. maybe. What else? If we have fear, okay? We have fear to be judged, right? to not be accepted, to not be understood, to hurt other people's feelings. So whenever there is fear, what we need is an ant antidote, you say? Antidote? Antidote, yes. We need courage. In order for what? Have just better communication. No, be ready for the judgment. Because it will come, it's there anyway. The other person is going to judge you. We're judging each other how often? All the time. Non-stop. So for a change, we can start hearing those judgments. This is what I'm going to talk about a lot. Because what we usually do, we hide it. We think it's ugly to judge. And we've been told by so many cultures and, and religions not to judge. Can we not judge? Impossible. What do you think? No. We'll talk about it soon. <laughs> Later is the moment to laugh. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Who else? Yes, over there. Just wait for the mic, okay? I've been married 10 years and I think I'm. Are you still alive? <laughs> yeah. right, right. I have worn these patients, so I can't. Um, concentrate my thoughts in like one minute attention span that is gone. So I said, How is it connected to being married for 10 years? Oh, I think the 10 years that's there's so much miscommunication that we have. Oh, you mean, you mean with that person you're married yes, to? Yes. Okay. Is he or she here? No. No. So, so what happens? That you're talking? Yeah, and then he wants like one minute. He wants like one minute. Just one minute. And you cannot give it to him. Well, my conversation piece is going to be longer, longer. than this. I get nervous and I just can't. Oh, oh, he prefers to have sure. conversations as long as one minute. That's right. 
Not able to condense my talk. Okay, so give me an example. He says what, and you say what? Um, I find him angry a lot of times. No, no, no. Give me an example uh -huh. of a conversation. Oh, he says what, and you say what? I, he says that I wasn't wrong when I yelled at someone on the phone. He says, mm -hmm. and you say what? I say when you are yelling at someone on the phone, you're not going to have a sense of um, co a cooperation coming okay. across. Okay, so how head. would we call this kind of response? What is it? We would call that violent. Violent? No, no, I don't care about this word. Oh, what I'm curious about is it, you think it gives you a chance to get closer to him or further from him? I want to get closer to him and also... Not start. this way. It won't work. <laughs> no, listen, if you say something and I say, na 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 closeness is not there, right? Yes. So what can you do different? I can try to understand why he gets upset and starts yelling on the phone. Give me a reason why he gets upset and starts yelling on the phone. He doesn't get what he wants. He doesn't, want to, he doesn't get a refund. Re refund. Okay. Refund for something. That's right. Okay. Why does he get angry then? The, the person is like the, being um, unfair not to give him the refund that no. he deserves. No. Oh. He's no. Not met, he's not, his need is not getting met. No, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> What is he thinking? The thinking is is guiding us, not the need. The need is so so well hidden that we're not aware of it. What is he thinking of that person on the phone? That person is being unreasonable. That he's being unreasonable? Yes. Unfair? Oh. Okay. What does it remind your husband of in his life? Is this the first time this happens to you? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Is it the second time? No, he's, that's his personality. Right? His personality? Yes. Come on. He's a spider. He's no, a spider. no, no. We are trying to find the human behind our judgment. Mm -hmm. So you see him as a fighter, yes. as a veteran. Yes. What else? As an angry person? Yes. Okay. Do you like him? A lot, yeah. Okay, does he know that? Yes. I'm not sure. Uh, no. No, I'm not. Seriously. If the main message is coming out of you uh -huh. energetically uh -huh. is how much you're worried for him and therefore you're angry with him, where is the care? Many, many layers down. Yes. Deep. Yes. Hidden. Okay. Yes. So one thing you can maybe start imagining is how to reach your own care to this precious man. It's hard, isn't it? And you want that from him, to that other person. Okay? So how about we take responsibility for what we can do, which is very, very challenging, which is what? What is the thing that you would like to take with you? Even as a question, not as an answer, as a question. I'd like to be able to offer him just the, accepting what, the way he is behaving, and it's, that works for him. He won't change his way, so it's like, well, who wants This to is judge far, it? far, far away, okay? What can you do something that is more practical? Is there anything I can do to help you at this moment? Before you even talk to him, oh. talk to this person inside of you that is impatient with him. What can you say to yourself? All is well. All is well, which is not true. So say something true. Something real. What can help you and all of us, right? When I see this precious person who I'm so impatient with, but I know somewhere I know that I care for this person, right? We know that. And I lost it. I lost touch with it. What can I say to myself to remind me of the care? To bring me back to my center? Because when I am in my judgments, I am gone. I am gone. I'm not here. I'm in my thinking. And I want to be in my heart. How can I get closer and closer, faster and faster to my heart? What do you
do you say? Just, just to remember that he's a precious soul. That he's a precious soul? He's a precious okay. He's okay. A precious so soul. this could be an idea. What do you say? How about life? Life? How about I love him? I, I mean, can you, can you take a mic? Uh, I said, how about I love him? I love him? Okay. If that is true for you in that moment, what I mean is, okay, let's find a phrase that I can tell myself, which is not like positive thinking, but something real. What can I remind myself is another tool to take home. In a moment which I forget, I lose it, okay? What can I tell myself consciously? If I'm you okay. I'm okay? Okay. If that works for you, okay? I don't know the right phrase. I can tell you what I do. There is a in Hebrew it's a word gay word, word game. But it's the idea is to say to me, to myself. Behind every screen, there is a need. That's what I do. So I see this man, and he's yelling, and my mind is yelling at him. So we both lost it. Right? We're not here. Are we clear about that? We're gone. We're gone. We're not here. Because one of us is going to yell at the other, and there is, here's the next fight which comes from such good intentions that it's crazy that that's what we do, right? So how can I bring myself back to my center? <coughs> what is my center? My center is my mind or my heart? heart? I believe it's my heart. We just lost the connection with it. So the more I can remind myself that behind any screen there is a need and breathe. That's the, that's the fourth tool I'm giving you already. Breathe means bringing life back to my body. <coughs> I was gone, but I'm not breathing. So you can practice this in your imagination. Look at that man, you know how he looks. You know how he looks in those ugly moments. And you breathe. Because in that moment, we are not breathing. I'm there to attack, right there out of care, out of fear, no matter what. Right? Okay. So let's read together as a practice. And put intention. Why are you breathing? Not because I said, I, I don't matter. I go home in two hours. Home, whatever home is. <laughs> I fly back home two days. What are we breathing? What am I choosing to breathe as a path of transformation? What do you think? Who says? Is what? Life energy. Life energy, okay. Reminding me that I exist here, not there. He, this man, this woman, this thing, this phenomenon, is like a, something that is moving to bring me back to me. That's the purpose of marriage. And we'll see more purposes. Thank you. Who else? One more? What would you like to take home with you? Yeah. If you can, we can get the mic. Right here. Right here. Is this working? Eric? Okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Sonali. Sonali. Uh huh. Uh, so I, when you were narrating this incident, the situation which was coming into my mind is when my friend uh, is sharing with me his or her day. Yeah. And I feel like bored listening to you know the details. Yes. So uh, consult with him. What's your name? Ben. Ben. Consult with Ben. <laughs> 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 Tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. But that might make you know, my friend feel that it's not important or you know that I'm not interested in. Okay, so let's practice the other way, okay? You are my friend, okay? You're sharing with me your day. And I am bored. Would you like me to tell you the truth or not? I would That's it. That's it. Okay, let's let's practice it for a second, okay? <laughs> tell me, tell me your day. What's your day? Three hours of meetings today, and 
know, our manager was telling about how we need to improve our testing plan, we need to have proper deployment and strategy for that. So wait, wait, wait. I don't want to just sit here and listen because I have to listen. I want to understand what is important to you and what you're telling me. <laughs> it's a different talk. Yeah. Did you get hurt? No. The